Hey, what's happening everybody? Paul Ingram here with Collie Center. I've got my staff with me today doing a little bit of some uh, some staff training exercises. If you want to do some cool staff spins with me, hit that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, grab your Collie training staff, and let's get to the training today. For today's training, we're going to be doing some basic staff spins. That's going to uh, impress your friends. So all you're gonna need for uh, this drill today is a training staff. You can use almost any length training staff. Basically, uh, I'm using my about four foot staff right here. You can go all the way up to about temple height, top of your head. You just wanna make sure that it's not too long where when you're doing these spins and stuff, it's gonna hit the ground. So as long as it can clear the ground, you can use any size staff within that length. So staff spins, guys, these are not like practical, functional fighting moves or anything like that. These are fun techniques to learn because they're really good for developing your coordination, developing some weapon sensitivity, and it's good grip strength and wrist flexibility conditioning training. And that's why I do it, all right? I know that these spins and stuff, this is not what we're gonna be looking at applying in like a real fight or anything like that. So, you know, don't get your kahunas all out of whack over some staff spins, all right? Let's just have some fun, get some good grip, wrist conditioning, some coordination training in, some weapon sensitivity and all that. And they're also really good for some body awareness and understanding, you know, where the weapon is in relation to your body. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the first one. These are very simple. We're gonna break them down and then we'll put them together and then you can start developing a little bit of a flow that you can uh, impress your friends with and then you can teach your friends these staff moves as well. All right, let's do it. So we actually have to learn three different spins and then we can go ahead and put them all together and create one flow and then you can uh, you know, get really good at it and impress your friends and then you can teach your friends how to do these cool staff spins. And they're not really complicated at all. This takes a little bit of practice. So our first spin is our downward figure eight. So we're gonna start off grabbing our staff, holding it right there in the middle, roughly in the middle of the staff. And we're gonna, the thumb is gonna lead the way on our downward figure eight. So we're gonna start off in front of us. We're gonna keep it kind of canted out to the right. So we're gonna spin it to the right. We're gonna go into the palm up position. And then we're gonna dive that, uh, that thumb down and we're gonna let it rotate to the palm down position behind us. Thumb goes down, rotates in front of the body into the thumb up position. Okay, and once we can kind of get this moving, we want to let the momentum generate and let that momentum bring that staff around into that downward figure eight. All right, so again, palm up in front of the body, let it rotate palm down behind the body and let it rotate. It's kind of hard when you're doing it slow because you don't have as, as much momentum, but even just a little bit of momentum and you can start getting the motion down. So I would say don't really worry too much about speed in the beginning. Uh, just you know get the coordination down and as you're getting more familiar with the movements then you can gradually pick up the speed. Now there's a lot of different stabs out there. I like using the rattan staff because it's got a little bit more weight, especially once that momentum starts uh, generating and, and picking up. And this is where it starts becoming a good grip strengthening and wrist flexibility conditioning exercise is when you're using the rattans and you have that weight of the rattan. So that's spin number one. Obviously you can practice this in your right hand and then also feel free to practice this in your left hand so that way you get familiar with it on both sides of your body. Right? right there. That is staff spin number one, the downward figure eight. Staff spin number two, we got to get the upward figure eight. We got to master this one as well. Now, here's the thing. We're going to train in the beginning. We're going to do the downward figure eight in the right hand. Then I want you to take the staff in your left hand, and we're gonna practice the upward figure eight in the left hand. So that way then we can do the behind the back transition. So on the upward figure eight, it's the opposite. So the pinky is going to be leading the spin this time. So we're gonna be coming around on the left side of our body right here. 
So when the staff is in front of our body, we're in the palm down position. Pinky is gonna be flipping it up. And when the staff is behind our body, we're gonna be in the palm up position. Pinky is gonna be leading it. And then we're in the palm down, palm up. So just start nice and slow. Don't worry about speed in the beginning again. We just gotta kinda of get this thing generated. And then just let the momentum naturally generate. Now the key to these two spins is make sure that you're doing them in this uh, profiled positions, okay? So we got the profile position to the right on a downward figure eight, okay? And then we have the profile position to the left on the upward figure eight, yeah? Now you can also switch that and you can obviously work your downward figure eight on your left side with your left hand and work your upward figure eight with your right hand on your right side. Okay. So whichever hand is your strongest, just start with that side. So if you're right-handed, start with the right hand on the downward, left hand on the upward. If you're left-handed, start with the left hand on the downward, right hand on the upward. And now we can get to staff spin number three. On to staff spin number three, we're gonna take a look at passing it behind the back and also passing it in front. So this is our vertical behind the back pass. Vertical because the staff is gonna end up vertical when we pass it. So this is why we needed to know a little bit of that downward figure eight, and then we needed to know that upward figure eight. And that's why we did the downward on the right hand and then the upward on the left hand. It's because that's kind of like the spin right there in between of the hand passes, okay? Right? So this is what it looks like. And then what I'm gonna do is turn around and make sure that you guys get the back view as well. So let's break this one down. I'm gonna begin with our downward figure eight, and you can actually do a few of these if you'd like. My thumb is going to dive down behind my back and I'm gonna place my hand on the small of my back, just like this. And my left hand is going to then grab underneath the staff, just like this. Okay, let's go ahead and do that part again. So from right here, go into that downward figure eight. You can do this a few times just to kind of get that feel for it. Thumb is gonna dive down, flip it around, right hand goes to the small of the back as the left hand then grabs underneath the right. Okay, exchange that grip. Left hand is gonna come up, pinky's leading that way. And then we got, then we move into the upward figure eight. All right, let's do that again. Downward figure eight. Now, as you're getting ready to make that transfer, you want your left hand to already be there on your back. That's gonna make things a lot easier and a lot smoother. Boom, right there. Upward figure eight on the left. All right. Bop. Right there. That's the path. Yep. Yeah. Now we're doing the opposite in front of our body. So as we pass it behind our body, make that exchange. Upward figure eight on the left side of the body. Now the thumb's gonna come over and we're gonna grab with the right hand underneath the thumb. Okay? And then exchange it and that will bring it into our downward figure eight. Let's do that again, nice and slow. Behind the back pass, in front of the body, so this is why it's called the vertical pass or vertical behind the back because the stick is vertical. Okay, there's other ways to do this where you can do it on the horizontal line and all that, but the vertical is a lot of fun. If you get the vertical one down, then the horizontal pass is a lot easier. Okay, and just go slow like this in the beginning. And you don't have to uh, worry about speed and everything, right? Practice this for about a week and then you'll get faster and faster at it. Okay. So this is why I wanna make sure that you have these three staff spins down right now is because you can start off with your figure eight downward, get a few of those in and then pass it and get a couple of uh, upward figure eights in and then pass it again. Downward figure eights, pass it 
upward figure eights and pass it. Okay, and then just minimize the amount of figure eights that you do. So this is uh, the way that I learned it. So I would do start off with three figure eights. One, two, three, pass. One, two, three, pass. Okay, one, two, three, pass. One, two, three, pass. And then I would minimize it to two. One, two, pass. One, two, pass. One, two, pass. One, two, pass. And then I go down to one. One, and pass. One, and pass, right? And then you can just start working this just like this. And then you can flow it out right here. Give it a pass. Maybe two, flow it out. Okay, and you can start kind of moving around a little bit, and then you can learn how to kind of turn with it, change the direction. Okay, just like that. Okay, practice that, get it good on uh, one side of your body, and then what I'll do in an upcoming video, if you would like, just tell me in the comments if you would uh, like to learn it. I'll teach you how to go from the right hand to the left hand, so that way then you can get this thing really spinning in all different directions. So there you got it, some fun basic staff spin drills and uh, exercises. Again, these are not practical fighting moves, okay? So uh, hopefully you guys are, are aware of that. This is fun, this is fun practice that's really good for developing some coordination, some weapon sensitivity, some understanding of that weapon and spatial relationship between the weapon and your body. And it does do a good job at some grip and uh, wrist flexibility conditioning as well, which is really important in the art of Kali. And uh, when you're understanding that momentum and, and how to generate the staff, it's gonna make your short stick or your bolo handling and all that even better. So there's a, this is a little secret that I use to help me out in the other areas of Kali. If you wanna see some more staff training, some more of these staff spins, just kinda of have some fun with the training and all that, leave me a comment below, hit the thumbs up button on this video, subscribe to the channel, practice these staff moves, get incredibly good at them, and then get out there, go impress your friends, and teach them how to do these staff spins as well, once they're like, Man, that is so awesome. Someone might be like, dude, that's so awesome. I wish I can do that and be like, hey dude, I'm gonna teach you how to do it right now. And you can either teach them or just send them over to this video and uh, yeah, let's get them training, doing some staff. Kali area number seven. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Get out there, go train, get outside, make nature your Kali dojo, and I'll see you in the next video.